boys and girls? Good morning. Okay, so before we get started today, we're gonna go ahead and review the words that we've been learning this week on place value. Okay, so let's go ahead and review. Compose. Compose. Compare. Compare. Decompose. Decompose. Expanded form. Expanded form. Expanded notation. Expanded notation. Standard form. Standard form. And ten thousand. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and move to the carpet to learn the new words for today. So everybody stand up, push your chairs in, and when I call on your group, you're gonna go ahead and move to the carpet, okay? So our first group, go ahead please. Second group. Boys. Side. And our last group. Thank you, you all did that beautiful. Okay, so we've already reviewed the words we've been working on this week on place value. Now we're gonna learn some new ones, okay? But before we start learning some new ones, the importance of word wall is to help us remember these words throughout the unit and they serves as a visual representation for us as we're working on place value, okay? So now, our first word is going to be digit, okay? So I'm gonna say it, then you're gonna repeat it. You're not gonna say it with me, you're gonna say it after me, okay? Are we ready? Thank you, all right. Digit. digit. Now what is a digit? Hmm. A digit is a numeral representation that helps us put together numbers. Okay, so for example, in our number 49, four is a digit and nine is a digit. So four is a what? And nine is a what? And when I put them together, they make what number? 49. So now with your partner, I want you to think about a number and tell them the digits of your number. Okay, so everybody let's think. Pick a number in your head, any number you want. When you have your number, show me a thumbs up. Okay, good, I'm waiting for 100%. Are we good over there? Awesome, yay, okay. So now, you're gonna share your number with your partner and you're gonna tell them the digits of your number. Okay, go ahead, talk with your partner about your number. And tell them the digits. Okay, three, when I get to one, everybody should be looking at me. Two, one, everybody. Awesome. Who would like to share their number and their digits? Yes, sir. Nice and loud. Okay, what were your digits? Your number was 48, what were your digits? Four and? Awesome, let's give them a hand. Good job. Okay, does anybody else want to share their number and their digits? Yes, ma'am. 58, okay, what are your digits? Good job, let's give her a hand. Yay! All right, anybody else? One more and we're moving on, one more. Yes, ma'am. Okay, your number is 35 and what are your digits? Awesome, good job. All right, so our next uh, word is number. Repeat, number. A number is a symbolic representation used to label a quantity or a measurement, okay? So for example, if I say, can you come here for a second? My friend here is 49 inches tall. Well, almost 49 inches tall. What is my number in my sentence? 49, and did I give a quantity or a measurement? A measurement, thank you for helping us out. If I tell you I have 12 balls, is that a quantity or a measurement? A quantity, good job. So now, with your partner, you're gonna tell your partner a sentence with a number, whether it can be quantity or measurement, okay? So let's have some thinking time, everybody. Have a sentence 
with your number, and it's gonna be either a quantity or a measurement. When you have your scent disc, show me a thumbs up. We're ready, we're ready. Any sentence with any number that you want. Okay? Are we good? I'm waiting for 100%. Are we good? Yes? Yes? Okay, so go ahead now and share your sentence with your partner. I like these sentences that I'm hearing. Make sure they're complete sentences. Okay, so you know how I gave the example that you're at most 49 inches tall? That was a measurement, right? So what can you give me? Give me a number. 49, so you can say I have 49 pencils. Did that help? Okay, three, two, one. Everybody facing forward. Good, okay, so who wants to share their sentence? Remember, it has to be a complete sentence and you have to tell me your number. Yes, sir, nice and loud. Ooh, I love that. I have 36 balls and it is a quantity, not a measurement. Good job, let's give him a big hand. Awesome. Anybody else wants to share their sentence? Yes, sir. Nice and loud. Ooh, I have 25 basketballs and it's a quantity. Good job. Okay, so that is our word number. It represents a quantity or a measure. Okay, so our last word for today is place value. Everybody say it. Place value. Place value tells us the value of a digit. Okay, it is put into digits and it gives us the value of the digits to help us know the value of the number. So what was the number that we came up with earlier today with two digits? Who remembers what number we came up with? 49. Four we said was a what? And nine is a? And the number is 49. So, what is the place value of the four? The four is in the tens place, and the nine is in the ones place. What is the value of the four? It's in the tens place, what is the value? What? 40, do we agree? Okay, what is the value of the nine? Nine, okay, so now I'm gonna give you a heart number. That was too easy, right? Okay, so, Look at this number, 235. Everybody read it with me, 235. So with your partner, you're gonna work together to tell me what place value each digit is in and what is their value. Just like we did with 49, we said four was in the what? Tens, nine is in the? What was the value of the four? 40. What was the value of the nine? nine. So y'all gonna do the same thing with 235. Are we ready? Yes. Okay, and make, make sure you got it because one of you is gonna stand up and come and explain to all of us about this number. Are we good? All right, go ahead, turn and talk with your partner. The three is in a thousand Okay, so what is the value of them? 20, 30, and 50. 20, 30, and 50. Okay, so if the two's in the hundreds place, the value is going to be what? It's in the hundreds place. One is 100. If I have two, it's going to be 200. The three, you said it was in the what? What place value? In the tens. So one is 10. If I have three, I'm going to have what? 30. The five is in what place? Ones. If I have one, what's the value? If I have one, if I have one. If you only have one, what is it? One. 
If I have five? Five. Five, one. So now tell me again, what is the value of the number? So what was the value of the two? Two hundred. What was the value of the three? Thirty. And what was the value of the five? Five. Five. Two hundred thirty-five. Great job. Okay, so everybody's bringing it back together. Three, two, one. So who's gonna be the lucky person to come up here? Okay, John, can you come on up please and explain to us the number 235. We wanna know its value and what place they're in. Over here, so everybody can see you over here. So this is in the? In the hundreds, okay. In the tens, good. Once, what is the value of the two? Awesome, the value of the three? And the value of the five? five? It's five. Awesome, give him some snaps. Good job, thank you, John. All right, are we ready to play the game? Yay! Yay. Okay, so before we get started, we're gonna add our new words to the game, okay? So we have digit, uh, number, and place value, bless you. Okay, so the name of the game is the Ooh, sounds interesting, right? Okay, so the way it's gonna work is U6 right here are gonna be group one, and U6 right here are gonna be group two, okay? So when I call you up, one person from each team is gonna come up and stand on each side of our words, okay? You're going to have a fly swatter in your hand. What are you gonna have in your hand? So Ms. Montemayor is going to give you the definition of a word or an example of a word. It can be the three new words that we learned today or any other word that we've been working on this week. When, if you think you know the answer to the word or the definition that I gave you, you're going to hit the word with the fly swatter. And whoever gets it right, you get a point for your team. Are we good? Yes? Okay, so can you t explain to me what I just said that we're gonna do? Hit the right answer. Who gets it right gets a what? Okay, are we ready to start the game? Yeah. Okay, so we have Team A and Team B. Remember, if you get the word correct, you get a what? A point, and I'm gonna be keeping up your points up here. Are we good? All right, so let's have our first players up, ready to go. Okay, move up a little bit so you can be able to hit it. All right, we're ready? Are you sure you're ready? All right, this word tells us the position of a number and its value. What is it? Place value, is that correct? Yes, yeah. yeah. so team A gets a point. Give it to the next person. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Okay. This is a numeral used to represent a number. So let me give you an example. In the number 48, it has two of them. It's got a four and an eight. What is it? Digit, good job. What team is this? A gets another point. Give it to the next person. Come on up. Thank you. Okay, this is a symbolic representation used to label a quantity or a measurement. Sweetie, move back a little bit so you can be able to hit it. What is it? What is it? Is she correct? Yes. Okay, but remember, when you hit it, you have to say it. So, it looks like our winners are group A. So, let's give them some snaps. Good job, group A. All right, guys, you did a great job with our words today, reviewing that vocabulary. But remember, if you forgot or you're stuck, what do we have to help us? Word our word wall. So, we got to look over there, look at the word, and look at the visual, okay? So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna return to a desk, not yet. When I tell you, you're gonna take out your interactive notebooks and we're gonna continue with the lesson for today, okay? All right, so our winners, stand up and walk quietly to your desk.